Till March 2019, Nissan claims that it has sold around 400,000 units of Nissan Leaf globally. Nissan Leaf was the best-selling electric car in Europe in 2018, followed closely by Renault Zoe and BMW i3. Now, in 2019, with the introduction of Tesla Model 3, the leadership might be challenged. And also, almost all the major players have strong offering for the electric cars. So let's see if this 2019 Nissan Leaf has what it takes to retain its top position both in Europe and worldwide. So let's start from the front fascia. On the sides we have this normal halogen lights because this is the basic Asenta model that I'm testing today. The daytime running lights are standard. So with the halogen lights on this trim and then we have the fog lights. In the middle we don't have the grill on the electric car but instead of this beautiful glass here. And on top of that, we have the small charging socket here. The socket port can be opened with the key fob as well. So it has this button for opening the charging port. And if you open the charging port, there are two sockets. This is the normal home charging socket and this is the fast charging uh, Chademo socket that all the Japanese manufacturers are using. So, the hood on the top, it doesn't look that bad. The small opening on the top and the front profile also looks pretty beautiful. Then coming on the side profile, this model has the 16 inch alloy wheels. The 17 inch alloy wheels start from the higher upper trims. The folding mirrors are also available then on the higher trims. This one doesn't have the folding mirrors, but it has the body colored side mirrors. And the uh, back windows are uh, tinted on all the Nissan Leaf models, so they come as standard. Um, the handlebars, the chrome handlebars, it has the sensor here, so you can use the intelligent access key to um, enter the car so you can press here to lock or unlock the car so now it is locked and you press again to unlock it then coming on the back side we have the spoiler roof on the top and the high mounted brake light and then the mirrors are tinted and this black beautiful color on the back side now it continues and the zero emission badge and then below of course we don't have the exhaust but instead um, this low brake light is also installed below so the profile matches from the sides to side this black color continues and it looks pretty beautiful now about the dimensions of this car this is 449 by 179 centimeter when compared to Tesla Model 3, this is around 20 cm shorter in length and 5 cm shorter in width. So a bit smaller than Tesla Model 3, but when it compares to the other electric cars, its peers, it is a bigger car compared to BMW i3. Um, this is around 10 to 15 centimeter longer and this is a hatchback so this means that it provides more cargo space as well. Now about the cargo space, so Nissan Leafs offers around 435 liters of cargo space with the seats up and the seats do fold 40 60, they do fold flat so extra space, uh, 435 liters already quite competitive compared to other electric cars so Tesla Model 3 offers 425 liters of cargo space BMW i3, Renault Zoe, all the other um, competitors they offer less space so this is 435 liters is pretty good but remember the Tesla Model 3 offers both the boot space and the front hood space and that's not the case in Nissan Leaf so maybe the combined space in Tesla Model 3 is more 
then this 435 liter but this is pretty pretty good pretty competitive so now about uh, the engine uh, the battery for this car so this uh, nissan leafs comes in 40 kilowatt hour battery option currently the 60 kilowatt hour the bigger battery option will be available starting next year so the 40 kilowatt our battery does around 270 to 310 kilometers uh, so that's the kilometer range for this Nissan Leaf which is not bad compared to its peers so uh, compared to Tesla Model 3 which is its biggest competitor now in Europe and perhaps worldwide as well um, so the Tesla Model 3 offers around 400 kilometers of battery range so that's the only car currently available that perhaps beats Nissan Leaf um, by almost 100 kilometers which is a big difference but then there is the price difference as well now the Nissan E plus which comes early next year with the 61 kilowatt hour battery will do almost 385 kilometers so it, it will come pretty close to the basic Tesla model but then Tesla also offers the long range um long range tesla model 3 which does around 500 kilometers so there will be the difference of this 100 kilometer always um between nissan and tesla but compared to the other car manufacturers so bmw i3 uh, then we have the hyundai ionic uh, kia e nero so they do almost 310 311 kilometers so in that sense this uh, even the basic 40 kilowatt hour battery for nissan leaf is quite competitive um, we have the renault zoe which is catching up fast in 2019 because of its price so nissan zoe is much renault zoe is uh, much smaller but um, it also offers the 40 kilowatt hour battery with 300 kilometers of range so most of the cars i would say is around that range 300 to a little bit more than 300 but with the e plus then um Nissan is going to up its game so it will do around 385 to 400 kilometers which is a pretty good range now moving inside the car let's look at the door first um the chrome handle it looks quite beautiful here then below we have the this is all the sides are hard touch plastic but we have the padded armrest here so this one is soft and then looking at the buttons we have the mirror controls here the on, on, lock and unlock buttons the windows electric windows but only one side is one touch um, i'm surprised that nissan is not offering all the one touch for front and rear this is a bit surprising given the price of this car anyhow so moving below so we have the nice stitching here on the sides but below we have again the hard touch plastic now continuing on the driver's side controls you can open this uh, electric socket from here and also then the steering wheel is heated which is quite a nice offering from nissan and uh, then you have uh, the driving controls uh, over here now moving then on the instrument panel this is a seven inch tft instrument panel and the graphics are not bad um so you can adjust now the settings different settings from the steering wheel here and the steering wheel also looks pretty nice with um, it's flat from the bottom and it has this nice stitching then in the middle um, the 7 inch TFT display and the 8 inch um, entertainment display uh, which is um, the, the size is a bit disappointing so for example the Golf has this 10 inch large TFT display here um, and this display most of the competitors are already moved to 10 inch displays but this is 8 inch a bit smaller compared to the rest of the competitors now com continuing up this is all hard touch but we have the soft padding here and this and the stitching 
also here which matches then with the with the steering and then the side stitching over here so that it, it looks pretty nice and then the, we have this green plastic here which is matched with the color of the interior and the dashboard is uh, not lined with felt but it's stamped and uh, it's a decent size and then moving below we have the climate controls surprisingly no dual climate controls here only one-sided uh, we have the auto on off button here and the seat heatings are two levels which is also a bit surprising um, only two level heat seating both for the passenger side and the driver side only one usb socket which is a bit strange for an electric car to provide only one um, I didn't see any other USB socket here not even inside let's see so this has a small console here but um, no USB so we have only one USB in this car um, then we have the wireless charging for the higher trims uh, comes as an option below that we have the eco control and the e paddle um, which is used for regenerative braking so with the e paddle you can drive only with uh, with uh, the the accelerator so no need for braking uh, which is yeah quite nice uh, have to get used to it um, and then Below we have this um, the parking brake here which is uh, on all the models it's electric and uh, then the direction for reverse so for reverse you have to actually put, put it on the front and for driving you have to put it on the back side so so nice looking um, nice looking controls here the center console looks pretty neat pretty decent then below that we have um, two cup holders here a little bit of space here and this small storage area and this one doesn't move front or back so this one is fixed um, so it would have been nice for it to move a little bit forward now putting the car in reverse uh, the, the reverse camera comes um, on all the trims and it has both the distance marker and the trajectory so if I move the steering here let's see I'll have to press the camera button here and then I get like the trajectory here as well it doesn't have the 360 degree view um, I think it's offered then on the higher trims uh, not available here and then the moving objects um, option is also available on higher trims uh, moving object option is already offered by Nissan in some other models but it has also introduced it now on Nissan Leaf so you can get that as an option but otherwise this uh, the basic trim this one doesn't have um, the moving object but it has this um, this distance marker and trajectory and the reverse camera the parking sensors on all the trims which is pretty nice now the instrument panel control so um, you get um, this uh, battery settings from here and let's move then on the right so we, you have the audio settings the navigation the average trip times energy economy and then you have the driving assistance here that you can check the lane departure and nissan leafs comes with both the lane departure warning and lane departure assist which is really nice the blind spot monitoring also the emergency braking with um with the pedestrian detection so this is quite nice all the trims offer this driver assistance which is pretty cool and then you also have the traffic sign recognition uh, the parking aids uh, the full parking is, aid is available then on the higher trims but this one has the parking sensors like i said and the rear camera already available um, the e-paddle uh, settings you can also control from here the chassis control which is pretty much the same as um, then the ESP 
stability control. Um, so a good, good number of driving assistance offered in Nissan Leaf, almost all of them. And I really like uh, the lane departure. Uh, it has both the warning and then the assistance. So it shoves you back in the lane, which is really nice. Then let's look at the infotainment panel. Um, so you have the knobs and controls then on the side. And the map, which I heard is the TomTom Tom map here. And the resolution is uh, not bad. Um, the response is a bit slow, but, um, but the resolution looks really good. Um, then the camera, like I said, you can turn on off the trajectory from here. Um, and then otherwise the volume and then the sound controls here and this also has the apple carplay and android auto both comes installed with this um, entertainment uh, from nissan so this is really nice it has a state-of-the-art technology only that the display is um, a bit smaller so it would have been nice to have a larger display here but otherwise um, the infotainment works pretty good now about the price of this car, so the Nissan Leaf basic version starts around 38,000 euros and uh, this is with the 41 kilowatt hour battery. Then you have the E Plus which is coming next year that will start around 46,000 euros. So the price difference is around 8,000 euros which is quite a lot given that uh, the rest of the car stays the same. You're only getting a bigger battery and around 85 kilometers of extra range with E plus uh, but the price difference of 8,000 euros is quite a lot I would say for the E plus model it would have been competitive for Nissan to offer E plus with, uh, with around this price like 38 to 40,000 euros but that's not the case however comparatively so we have the uh, Tesla Model 3 which starts around 48,000 euros so we have around 10,000 euros difference compared with the Nissan basic um, Leaf and the Tesla basic model 3 so uh, the the price in case of Nissan Leaf in that sense is is competitive but then we have the 100 kilometer range difference between uh, Nissan Leaf and the Tesla model 3 the rest of the competitors uh, we have the i3 which starts around 46,000 euros the e Nero is around 43,000 euros uh, then the cheaper ones, uh, we have the Hyundai Ionic, um, uh, which starts around, uh, and the e-Golf also starts around 35,000 euros, so a bit lower than uh, Nissan e-Leaf, which starts around 38,000 